Hey baby girls, welcome back to another relaxing facial video. Today I'm going to be treating Eleanor's rosacea and rejuvenating her tired dull skin. Eleanor's just come back from Glastonbury Festival so she's definitely in need of this. I first start off by cleansing the eyes with my Queso Eye Makeup Remover. Using a few pumps of Queso's Rebalancing Cleanser, I begin to cleanse the skin, remembering to include the décolleté. I work in fast circular motions, trying to break down the dead skin cells sat on the top layer of the skin. Using some warm water and facial sponges, I rinse as much excess water out and then wash away all the residue. I then go back in with the same cleanser for a thorough cleanse. Using a fresh bowl, making sure my sponges are nice and clean, I go back in and wash away the cleanser sat on Eleanor's skin. Using Queso's Calming Toner on a cotton pad, I tone the skin to reduce and shrink the appearance of open pores and to ensure all my cleanser is fully free from Eleanor's skin. I 
I'm now going to use my Queso's Rebalancing Ultra Fine Exfoliator to mildly exfoliate. I don't want to be too abrasive with this on her rosacea cheeks as this will cause more irritation but I want to make sure the dry areas on her chin and nose are nice and exfoliated for a more glowing appearance. I'm now going to go in with my super soft silicone exfoliator pad and just gently work the targeted dry areas. Again, using fresh warm water, I wash away the remaining exfoliator. I then blot the skin dry, ready to use my pore vacuum on those dry targeted areas. Making sure I only go over the dry built up areas. I work my pore vacuum along the skin, making sure not to hold the machine in the same area for a long time as this would cause more irritation to her skin. We just want to lightly remove the rough layer sat on her T-section. I then go in and tone the skin once again using my calming toner. I'm going to use two different masks, one for the T-section and one for the rest of the face. The first mask is a Vini Less Essentials Soothing Radiance Mask for dry sensitive skin. I use this on the T-zone. And for the second mask, I use Queso's Calming Mask, enriched in white nettle extracts and chamomile it soothes and revitalizes the skin, gently purifying the skin without causing irritation. I then use rose water soaked on some cotton pads and cover the eyes ready for a nice 10 minute hand and arm massage. I 
I always recommend performing a massage where you can while the face mask is on. I find this gives that luxury experience and makes them truly relaxed. The mask is now ready to be removed. I soak my facial mix in clean hot water and give them a good rinse out. I then remove all the mask using these mitts. When I need to rinse the mitts out, I just go back in with fresh clean water and repeat the steps. I'm now ready to perform a facial massage using Queso's facial oil. This contains figure mulberry and smells like heaven. The pomegranate figure mulberry replenishes and optimizes hydration in the skin for a glowing radiance.
I'm now finishing with Queso's Calming Moisturiser. This is a light, fresh, rapidly absorbed cream which restores long lasting moisture to the skin. This will work great for them little red cheeks. And to finish the facial, I'm going to use some rose water and spritz this all over the skin. I love to waken up the skin at the end with a facial spray. I think it lets them know the facial has come to an end and the skin feels so fresh. Eleanor's skin looks so healthy. She has a glowy hydrated finish and them cheeks look a lot less blotchy and red. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.